everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make holiday snacks. These recipes right here, they're so easy to make. They don't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make them Gina Young style, they're going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my holiday snacks before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You're going to need some chocolate chips. And the ones that we're going to use today, we have some Ghirardelli milk chocolate chips. You can use semi-chocolate if you would like. You will need one cup of these. You're going to need some butter, and the butter that I will be using today is sweet cream butter, but honestly, any kind of butter you have is fine. Whether it's salted or unsalted, it'll do the trick for today. Let's come over this way. You will need some pretzels. You can use salted or unsalted. You will need a half a cup of creamy peanut butter, and also we'll be using two cups and maybe even a little more of powdered sugar. You're gonna need some M&Ms. Now, these are the holiday M&Ms. These are the kind that do not have the peanuts in them, and they have the red and the green color. You're gonna need some Cheez-Its. I like to use the extra cheesy. And you'll also need some Chex cereal, all right? So now, that's all you're gonna need. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with these really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipes. The holidays are right around the corner and you all are looking for that perfect snack or that perfect dessert to put on your dinner table. Well, listen here. Today I have two amazing snacks slash desserts that's gonna be so delicious and everyone loves them. Let's get started with the easy one first. This is something that I make every year and my kids love it, the adults love it. Everyone that eats this, they go nuts over it. Here's how we're gonna do it, it's so quick. Okay, so you take your Cheez-Its and let me show you what I'm gonna use to serve it up on. This is just a platter that I purchased from Walmart and it has a cute little saying on it. If I have time during the video, I'll read the saying to you. Okay, so we're gonna open up our Cheez-Its. I don't suggest using any of the Cheez-Its that has, you know, the extra powder on them. You know, sometimes you can purchase the Cheez-Its that has, um, let, let's just say hot pepper powder or cheesy powder. Don't get that kind, because it kind of ruins the m &Ms. Okay, so let's cut open. We're gonna use the whole bag. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. In with the whole bag of the Cheez-Its, just like so. Here at the Young's house, we love Cheez-Its, all right? And I like to use two bags of the M&Ms because they sink to the bottom, and sometimes you get some of those family members that just want to go in straight, just straight for the M&Ms. <laughs> so I do a little extra, and you can pull your bow up if you like, you know, just like so in this manner. All right, and what I want to do, my hands are impeccably clean. I'm going to kind of mix those M&Ms down. I am actually using a smaller box of the Cheez-Its today just because it's a video and it's not really the holiday. So I'm not going to use this full bag. But when you make yours, you're going to use the bigger uh, box of Cheez-Its and that'll pair up perfect with these two bags of M&Ms, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of put those extra M&Ms around the side just like so and you can see how gorgeous it is. And the next thing we do is we take our pretzels, any kind of pretzels you love. You love the sourdough kind or the little square ones that look like windows, you can use those. Put as much as you want or as less as you would like. You could even put some honey roasted peanuts in here. That would be a great addition, okay? So now let's mix it up just like so and you have your first snack that your family and friends and loved ones will not be able to stop eating just like so. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful. 
Okay, everyone, so we have our first snack together. And the reason why I love this is because it's sweet and it's a little bit salty and that pairs up just beautifully. So let's just set this aside just like so. And we're gonna get started on our next snack. You wanna grab a bowl, okay? And we're going to measure out a cup of your chocolate chips. Keep in mind, you can use semi-sweet if you like. Okay, milk chocolate is my go-to. All right, so let's measure out one cup, just like so. Sometimes I'll do a little over, it's okay if you do. <laughs> let's do a little over, all right? Just like so, perfect. And then the next thing we need is one fourth of a cup of your butter. You can use margarine, absolutely you can. You can even use um, the solid Crisco, okay? So, let's see, where on here is one fourth? It's around about right there. Let's set it right on top of our chocolate chips. And how we're gonna do this, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can melt this over a double boiler, or you can just melt it in a pan, or you can put it in a microwave like I'm gonna to do today. I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave for about two minutes, and literally every, like, every four seconds, I'm gonna go in and stir it because this will melt so quickly. But one thing we need to do is let's go ahead and measure out our half a cup of creamy peanut butter. Make sure you do not get the crunchy peanut butter because it won't turn out right. All right, so now, Let's measure it out, guys. Let me know in the comment section below, have you heard of this dessert? This little snack here is called Muddy Buddy. It's sometimes called the uh, Chex Holiday Mix. It's unbelievable. And the presentation is absolutely beautiful. We're measuring out a half a cup. We're gonna put it right in the same bowl with our morsels in our 1 fourth cup of butter so now i have a half cup of peanut butter i'm going to get all that goodness and i'm going to set it right on top throw it in the microwave and i'm going to check it every four seconds i'm going to stir it until it gets a melty consistency okay everyone so i heated up my chocolate my butter and my peanut butter and i'll show you the consistency but i do want to put some nice vanilla in okay just a little bit but you do want that vanilla flavor all right, if you wanted to put a little bit of coconut extract in there, absolutely you could. So here's what we have. What a gorgeous consistency, okay? Oh, and it smells so delectable. So here's what we're gonna do. We have literally nine cups of the Czech cereal mix. Nine cups is just about the whole box of cereal. It's not the extra large size, you know. It is the... Um, the box that's kind of medium size. Okay, so let's pour it all over our cereal. And what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna take a soft spatula and we're literally gonna go in and mix up this chocolate, this butter, vanilla, and everything all into our Chex Mix. That's gonna take a while. You Use your soft spatula and start to turn from the bottom. Okay, it will eventually all get coated. I want you all to be careful because you don't want to mush up your chocolate. I just said mush up your chocolate. You all know what I meant. I meant to say you don't want to mush up your Czech cereal. Once this gets nice and coated, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so I want you all to look at the consistency. And listen here, if you can get all of the chocolate and peanut butter coated all over to where you see none of the Czech cereal, that's awesome. But if you can't, don't freak out. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna take some of the checks, but before we do that, let's take some of our, I have two cups of powdered sugar. I kinda need two hands, all right? I'm gonna put some of the powdered sugar into Just like so. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, everyone. So we're gonna do two batches. This is the first batch, okay? So we're just gonna close this up just like so. 
All right, and now that we have that powdered sugar, be very gentle with the bag. Just give it a nice shake. You know, kind of do this in this motion. And this is what makes that amazing snack for your holidays. Have it for birthdays, have it for Christmas or New Year's, just have it. It's gonna be so delicious. I'll mix up the other set off camera. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, everyone, so I have the first bag all the way mixed up and I want you all to take a look in the bag and see what we have. We have amazing snack. Now here's what we're gonna do, because you need to strain this. You don't want extra powdered sugar on your platter, okay? So here's what you do. You take a strainer and a cookie sheet. I'm using a cake pan in my case. And what the strainer will do is it will strain any excess powdered sugar off of this gorgeous snack, okay? And if you happen to get some of your Chex Mix that's clumped up together, that's the best part. Okay, so watch this. Oh yeah, let's give it a nice, you know, See all that powdered sugar fall into the bottom? That's what we want, so your snack doesn't have all that extra powdered sugar. That's what we're looking for. So, here's what we're gonna do. Right here, I have a cookie sheet. I couldn't be more excited for this. Okay, one more little shake. We're gonna take this and put it on our cookie sheet that we've lined with foil, and we wanna put this in the refrigerator for just about 15 minutes so it can get nice and set. And what I mean by set is really we're just looking for the chocolate to set up, okay? Because you don't want to pick it up and then your loved ones get chocolate on their fingers. Once that chocolate is set, you won't have to worry about that. I'm going to mix the second batch up and I'll be right back. Our holiday snack is almost done. Now I want you to look at the amount that that nine cups of Czech cereal mix made. It's a whole lot. Okay, so this is what we have, but we can't go any further until we put this in the refrigerator like I spoke of. Make sure you shake off that excess powdered sugar. This is gonna go in my refrigerator for 15 minutes. When I come back, we'll put our final touch on and we'll be done. Okay, everyone, while our Chex Mix cools down in the refrigerator, I wanted to talk about something really quickly. So if you go to the dollar store or you go to your local market, Walmart, you might be able to find something like this. And they are very cheap. I always buy them during the holidays and I like to put Christmas snacks in them. You can put cookies in them. Anyone that receives this for the holidays, they're gonna be so excited, especially these two snacks. So here's one and here's the other one. And you might remember these from last year. They're amazing. I always purchase them during this time of the year. Now, when I plate them up, it's gonna be in here because we're gonna be eating on those snacks. But when, you know, everything kind of settles down and nobody's eating the snacks, they're gonna go in here and they'll stay nice and sealed tight. You don't have to keep this in your refrigerator. And when you want some, your family members can just open it, put it in the paper cup and keep going. Okay, everyone, so we let our mixture set in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. Now it's time to put the finishing touch. Like I said, if you want to put some peanuts in here, ha, you better put you some peanuts in there. Anything you want to put in here would be absolutely beautiful. Okay, I don't mind getting my hands a little dirty, so I'm just going to do that. Just like so in this manner. And I do want a little bit more of the m &Ms. Make sure they're the holiday colors. It's so beautiful. Some people call this Muddy Buddy or they might say reindeer treats. <laughs> if you have little kids, you can leave this out for the reindeers and Santa. Look at this right here. Hold on guys, I wanna really show you all what we have here. Beautiful. Take a look at it. Gina Young style holiday treats. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole 
about Judy Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. When I come back, I want to say an amazing prayer. You all are going to get that first bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for another beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this household in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. One more look, everybody. Take a bite. Oh, yeah, look how beautiful. This one right here, it really steals the show. But then when I look at this one here, it steals the show also. I cannot choose between the two which one is the best. <laughs> and as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.